No one around me believes we can get worms. Where do they come from and how do they live or get out of the body and are they bad? I need to explain this. Well, listen, it's really weird. We use the word belief a lot. It's, it's not about belief. It's whether do you know or not know, okay? But some people uh, don't know and wind up believing that there was this really invisible enemy that came to planet Earth in the year 2020 and caused everything. We had to shut down the invisible, invisible enemy. They believe that. Now they believe that. They believe that. But paradigm, well, when they have been around a lot. We're going to get it. Well, half of their life cycle, the round worms, are, is in the soil. You eat a lot of ways. This tapeworm is a worm. How do you get that? No, usually eating, usually getting eating uncooked flesh, like pig flesh or other flesh. Other beef, beef, tape, there are beef tapeworms and stuff like that. But the other ones like strongyloides and, um, oh, there's many, there's many different ones. It depends on where you live in the world. But what's happened though, here's what's happened. Since the world has changed over the last 150 years and there's so much travel, we're finding parasites that were in, in the Michigan, Michigan River or in the Mississippi River that 100 years ago would, were only in like um, South America. And then plus people come here and remember these, these, these roundworms have, their, they have, they have maybe one or two intermediate hosts. So they, they do all their stuff in us and then they come out in the feces. Feces gets picked up by an intermediate like a snail and um, goes to a fish and comes back. You know, so you get worms easily. And all you got to look up is look up uh, uh, parasites and there's, you'll see there's different kinds. One is helminth, we we'll call worms. Other ones called protozoa. How do you get protozoa? Uh, those are non-worms. Uh, but like, for example, uh, Clonorchus viverini, which comes, which causes uh, cholangiocarcinoma, which is bile, bile duct chronically from eating, comes from eating fish, uh, freshwater fish, uncooked. Anyway, um, your friends, instead of you, you don't have to go to any trouble to explain to them. It's not your job to explain to them. If they have a lack in their knowledge, you should tell them that you should look it up and read. Tell them to do that. You know, <clears throat> if somebody came to you and said they didn't know why you were doing something else, you're gonna, you don't have to prove it to them. But just say they're ubiquitous, they're everywhere, and you've got them, I've got them. Uh, you don't know it, I know it, that's all. And if you wanna know it, you go study it and you'll find out. And then you'll be happy to get rid of them because you won't like them. And we found out that they can all, pretty much most of them can cause chronically fermenting cells. They can cause chronically fermenting cells. Strongyloides goes in and causes chronically fermenting cells in the bladder, the whole urogenital, right? And then, uh, you know, clonorchus causes cholangio cholangiocarcinoma. And then uh, uh, then there are liver flukes, and then there are lung flukes, and then there are ones that, that go into the eye. And then like toxoplasmosis, which you can get from your litter box, cat litter box, uh, can go to the brain. So, yeah. Parasites, microorganisms are ubiquitous everywhere. 